Hey folks, good evening. It's Paul again with you. And uh, we are going to take a walk. <clears throat> and along this walk, I am going to vent my frustrations about everything right now in the chatter that I hear uh, up and along the internet and the channels uh, that I run with, shall we say. And um, isn't it funny that there's nobody talking about the stuff that I'm talking about. Isn't that, isn't that amazing? Hmm? Well, I'm going to tell you what's coming through the grapevine. As far as I can tell, this way you can kind of get your ducks in a row. First thing, I've had this channel for going on three years. I just suffered a strike, so I have to be very, very careful. Um, it's most important that you do not envision yourself as real smart. It doesn't work on this channel. That goes for virtually all of you. My subs excluded because the people that come here uh, go through a kind of tempering like they do steel because it is so difficult to actually subscribe to this channel that I, I don't even know why people subscribe. You think you're real smart and that's called hubris. You're believing what people are telling you. I've said this before and I will say it again. I am God, not you, not those fucking eggheads that you listen to. And that goes for virtually all of you, my subs excluded. What I say should be a great comfort for you because you don't need to examine it any further. You're not capable of it in any way. The hell are you capable of? Dancing with the stars? Anything else? So it's up to us. We're the ones that have to do it. The only person that's like me is Chris Green. I grant you I'm the poor man's version of AMTV. I grant you that. But I brought you um, that whole scoop on the vice president. I bought you that whole and, and uh, Hindu business. I bought all that to you. And uh, Chris didn't say one thing about Hindu business, did he? No. It's because he's worried about his channel going. And... I tell you folks, uh, even though it's hard for me, I sleep well at night. You know why? Because if I check out, I tell you honestly, I have done everything that I could do to turn you from a stupid person, a really dumb person. There's nobody stupider than somebody who thinks that they're real smart and uh, is not smart at all. And I do everything that I can to make you understand that you're not smart at all. And that's why you worship me as a god. Now, you can wor worship Chris Green as a god, too. There's ample reason for you to do that. That's a guy over on AMTV. I just had somebody left me a comment today. Uh, he said, who is that person? What is that channel about the video that I, I did with Chris Green's face on there? And I said, it's AMTV. So he'll go off and he'll take a look. So, but I hope he comes back. But again, how can you expect a zombified fuck idiot, like virtually all of you, to come back once you hear that the appropriate thing to do is to worship me as a god? How in the world would you be able to live with yourself if you press that subscribe button? Unless you think it's funny. Some people actually think it's funny. They don't know that I'm being serious. I tell you this, uh, another day I'll come out and I'll tell you that I'm just joking around. But even Chris Green doesn't cover what I cover. I showed you. Chris has been talking about the uh, uh, Biden uh, being uh, removed from office essentially dismissed and that's true 
But I showed you the breakdown of it. It's called a fig leaf. And that's what they're doing. Because they know they can't be mean to him uh, because it negates his whole being. It's not, doesn't serve a good purpose. But Chris just doesn't tell you that. He stuffs his face with coconut pie and um, uh, tells you you're a baby and feeds uh, it, like you're a baby the uh, coconut cake to you like you're a baby. I don't do that. I just tell you that you're a fuck moron and if you don't fuck, you're just a fucking sub-zombie. So that is reason enough to worship me as a god. There's no problem. And I never refuse anyone. That's the, the most beautiful thing about me. There's no litmus test for this. I told you in my last video, there's no litmus test. The, the most beautiful thing that I can think of is that even if you're a real fucking dumbass, you can still come here and worship me as a god. I accept you. Fuck, if you people only knew how much I despise you, truly. Well, why? Because guess what's making the rounds? The covert operation. Remember the covert operation? Dimwits? My subs excluded? Remember? Four years ago? When there were protocols for you to bend down and take a shit? I started to become, become a little skeptical when I saw the, saw the first introduce a uh, mask which opened with a remote control so that you could eat and then be protected again. That's when I really knew what this was all about. You understand? That's when I knew. I'm not saying anything because you have to be very, very careful on this platform. But as a fuck idiot, you're going to believe that too. Now, if you don't fuck, you're just a sub-zombie, of course. But you, you can understand that, right? Are you going to buy one? It's revolutionary at the time. Folks. We're going to go right back in. They're setting it up. I see it over there on Redacted. Uh, it was not by coincidence that they mentioned it on TV. I'm, I'm sorry, not on TV, on YouTube or whatever, on these channels. Uh, well, yeah, on TV, too. They're saying that the president caught scam. So, yeah. I just went to Starkey's home uh, farmstead. The woman is a nice woman. She has sent me a couple nice um, things that she said to me, always with a, a thing to uh, give her money. Have I ever? I mean, look. You're not going to get much more of a fucking stu real fucking shit prick like me. I say things that will just infuriate you. And I mean really infuriate you. Because if, if I was somebody that thought that I was really on top of the game. And somebody was telling me that I wasn't. I'd be very upset about it too. So I understand that. But I tell you. I have a hard life. Harder than virtually any of you. Virtually any of you. There are some that might have a hard life like mine, too. You're welcome at this channel, too. I go a little bit easier on you. So, what are we going to have? We're going to have people like Starkey's Farmstead, whatever that channel is over there in Louisiana, and we're going to have these people talk like they did today. And they're talking about uh, Biden having uh, the covert operation. And I'm writing to her right now on that channel. A, a complete waste of time. That woman is far too self-important with her stupidity. And I'm sorry about that. The, the woman has likable points. But... She's not smart and thinks she's real smart because she was an educator. So she thinks she's real smart, but she's not smart at all. That's the problem. Now, if she goes to my channel like I told her an hour ago, 
she'll get smart. But she's not. So how do I know this? Because she starts, uh, you know, uh, go to the channel. Go to, go to Snarkies or whatever the hell that channel is. And uh, listen to her. She's already referring. Uh, it, it, not referring. She's saying it actually that Joe Biden has what, you know, I can't say it because that's when you get the long people cartoons telling you about how bad you are. Uh, and that this is a safe place and you certainly are not safe. That kind of routine. <laughs> so she... <coughs> Excuse me. That's not scam. I'm over scam. I just got something stuck in my, my throat here or something. So she's referring to it and she's saying, oh, the president has scam. But she didn't say scam. She calls it by the nonsense name, which is uh, the covert operation name. Uh, and then she says, well, how many times can you get the, the covert scam? And then, you know, uh, there'll be somebody else over there. And I forget what it was, but maybe somebody was making another comment with her. And you get this fucking imbecility. You understand? Fucking imbecility. Goddamn nonsense. Folks, please, you're going to suffer and you're going to think that they're doing you good and that they're looking out for you. Anything uh, is better than what they're going to do to you, including, by the way, death. Because I will sacrifice my life for any of you fucking numbskulls out there to make sure that you had a chance to understand more than what they're feeding you, the ass end of everything, always. So are we going to go back into uh, lockdowns? That's what they're talking about. You'll support it. You'll be scared. And if you have a little bit of a kind of a, you know, you're not quite 100% sure, you know, you know, um, just keep calling it by the name they refer to it as. You will never hear me say it. Number one, for punitive reasons. But number two, the reason I wouldn't say it is because it is beneath me and I will not promulgate and promote this scam. And when you call it that, uh, the, um, uh, the recommended name that they give it, then you promote it and you make people believe it. To some degree or another, they believe it. That's the problem. They believe it. And they don't know that even if they think they don't believe it or they think it's a scam or whatever, they still believe it because they're still talking about it. You know what I mean? They're still talking about it and referring to it. How many times have I told you people, don't do that. Always call. When you talk to people, Remember, you're worshiping me as a god at this channel. You can believe what I tell you. You always talk to people and say, oh, you mean the scam? <laughs> you mean the scam? <laughs> the scam. And watch the fireworks begin. Because the people have already uh, known that they're real smart. They've been ordained by the DCD. I'll tell you, honestly, the funniest story... I had a woman that gypped me for $30, and it was a hardened, folks, cutting that bastard over there. That woman waited a long time to cut that uh, grass, and she gave me a check, and uh, she forgot to sign the check and played dumb, and would not sign the check for me. And then had the nerve to ask me to come over and cut it again, that we were going to be all just square even with that. And then I could come over and we'd start again. I said, how about signing this fucking check? No, she didn't want to do that. So I can't risk something like that. So what are you going to do? I had to eat it. It's rare. Like once every two years you get something like that. You don't really get it too often. Depends. But that woman was around 93 years old or 92 years old. She was in a fairly good shape. But... 
I, I, the funny story about it was, um, you know, she tried to explain to me about what to do. And this was going back now about, about a year and a half ago. It was a year and a half ago. It wasn't a year. It was more than a year. It's more than a year. Maybe going on a year and a half. And the, the scam was still in its uh, deathbed there. But it was still... Uh, they were still trying to scare you. It was probably maybe even more than a year. It's been a while since I cut that stupid bitch. Oh, fucking bitch she was. And But the thing was, she was a medical records keeper in, in a civil office or something like a secretary and uh, she was amazing she was amazing because she started to explain it to me and I swear to you she had it down and not just the bullet points I mean she had it down like I was literally Listening, listening to Dr. Gupa or whatever his name is there when they were, uh, I, I remember about five days ago, they, they were really in question and they said, I think this is a job, job for Dr. Gupa and more Hindu business or whatever the fuck he is, right? And they were really going to have to really ask Mr. Gupa, whatever that doctor is, that corrupt piece of crap, that one that was smiling while they were giving it to the kids, right? Remember? Remember? Uh, tricking them with the little stuffed animals and so forth and so on. <laughs> this fucking... Folks, you're pretty fucking stupid if you can't pick up on things. You know what I mean? You're pretty stupid. I know you think you're real smart, but you're not smart at all. So, you know, she just kind of ran this whole thing down to me. I said, I couldn't believe it. It was just like 6 o'clock news. <sighs> so get ready... Because you won't worship me as a god, what are you going to do the next time somebody starts talking to you about scam, the covert scam? Of course, you're going to say, yeah, yeah, well, the mother, you know, the, the thing that they call it. And then it goes into those pea brains of, I mean, it's already in your pea brain. My sub's excluded, of course, but it goes into all those other people's brains. Then they're, they're not conscious of it. And they believe it. If you say it, you believe it. If you refer to it, even in an answer or a quip, you believe it. You believe some degree of it. Now, my wife's mom died. It's not a pretty picture at all. And it's causing a lot of stress right now. A great deal of stress. Uh, more than I've ever had. But that woman could not really explain why. She knew it was a scam, but she knew it was a scam from the very start. And I respected her for that a lot. Because she knew. And she was an old woman. And she wasn't going to have any part of the, um, you know what, the remedy. And she just avoided it at all costs. They tried to come over and give it to her. They tried to roll up her arm and she just refused it. And of course, went on to live another four years. But the woman was very, very old. So, I'm not like her. I can tell you why, mathematically speaking, why this does not exist. I can explain that to you. But when you have a hubris, which means that you think that you're real, real smart. I mean, you're so smart that who could compare with you? It just means that you're real, real stupid. I hate to keep droning on this. You're never going to understand or take in any other point of view besides your marching orders. And you're going to put us right back into this garbage. And that is why I do not like you. That is a great deal of the reason why... I offend you on purpose to tell you to worship me as a god because it must be pretty frustrating to watch a security guard uh, speak down to you like you were nothing and that he was a god. It must be very frustrating. I'll uh, appreciate that for you, okay? But it doesn't mean it's not true. So get ready, gear up. 
Uh, we, we don't hear anybody except for Chris Green. I'll give him credit where credit is due. Chris Green is telling you that um, Mo Bandy there or what, uh, what, what's his name? The uh, bumpkin there. I mean, it, it, it's so bizarre. You can't even remember this guy's name. The VP pick. Whatever his name is. You know, I just heard the first critique of him. Today, I read it. It was in the New Yorker, I think. New York Magazine or New Yorker or something like that. And they were also touching on now everybody is wearing an ear gauze. And I hate to say it, folks, but I kind of agree with that. I kind of agree with them. There's something kind of disturbing about that. There, and it was a person, according to what I read, who was a victim of one of these Columbine-type shootings. And she said it was just very distasteful to her. I kind of get it. I get it because it's just it, it just playing people. And making the, you know what I mean? I, I guess you don't know what I mean. But I'll tell you something, folks. I, the only person, and I, and another scam believer all the way, in in triplicate, is you know Bobby Kennedy's son there, RFK. I mean he's got to be better than these other two. But I don't. I haven't been able to really catch enough of his policies. But so far, what I hear from him, I like very much. Uh, he just talked about the uh, you know the sadistic behavior is not just one way on the battlefield of Ukraine it's both ways it's both ways so anyways I just look I just looked at that today and listened to the update and there Ukraine is just not able to hold the lines they're just not able to do it Folks, do you know what a tank mine is? Did you ever get close to a tank? You think that's a sedan car or something like that? These things are 40, 50 tons, if not more. 40 or 50 tons. They're as heavy as 18 cars. And what they use to blow them up are, land, are mines. They put mines and bury mines. Can you imagine the power of these mines? And they're not using grenades anymore. I was watching, I watched it twice. Uh, the first time, uh, one Russian soldier, it's round, it looks like a canteen, a little bit bigger than a canteen. And they're heavy, they're like 15 pounds, something like that. They're like 14, 15, 16 pounds. These things are not light. And these guys are going to a doorway in a house the size of this thing right here. And they're, with all the uh, power they have, the Russian soldier throws it inside. And within three, three and a half seconds at the most, because I think they have a three second fuse, this whole wall collapses. It's unbelievable. Maybe not this wall, but maybe. But a house, a regular house, maybe a two-story house, it's gone. It is busting up the joint. And I've never seen anything like that. That is the most powerful uh, hand grenade I have ever seen. And the second time I watched it, the first time the guy got out of the way. The second time there were two guys... And uh, one guy was throwing it, and maybe the other guy did too, I'm not sure, but uh, he was with him. And he said, you know, I'm throwing it, and he threw it. And the other guy uh, started to run like hell, and he fell down right at the doorway opening. And you could see that that a blast just went right over him. He may have been killed. I don't know. Maybe not because he hit the ground. So he, he might be okay, but I'm sure it wasn't a, a, a good feeling. And the other thing that's very disturbing that I saw last night. <sighs> Folks. 
the 3,000 pound, I'm sorry, the 6,000 pound bombs. Uh, these, uh, what do they call them? I, I forgot the name of them. I, I forgot the name. There's a simple name for those. She's. Uh, um, I can't even remember now. Uh, that's my mind as I get older. Uh, but these these bombs. Uh, the, the I watched one. And they dropped it, and I don't know whether they air burst it from about six feet off the ground or twelve feet off the ground, or whether it hit or whether it, you know went into the ground. But you could see you could actually see this cloud this vacuum cloud that went hundreds of yards in each direction it was frightening when I saw it I mean hundreds of yards folks in each direction and it makes this cloud that goes up 60 feet 80 feet in the air I feel so bad for these Ukrainian people, especially the soldiers, because they're getting grabbed from their dinner tables and uh, this and that. And You are not going to beat the Russians, my friend. The Russians are dedicated people to each other. They're not like us. They are dedicated and they are dedicated to each other when it comes to a common foe. And it's been like this since the days of Napoleon and then later on with with uh, the Germans in World War II the Germans just simply couldn't believe the level of resistance that they faced with Russians but because you're dancing with the stars and you see yourself as really really smart how in the world could anybody tell you that you're a stupid fuck dildo because you're not watching programs about World War II you need to do it. But you're not because you've got Dancing with the Stars. You've got this and that. So, worship me as a god. I know. I know how it worked out. Maybe you don't. The death is going to get worse and worse. And now, I just heard uh, last night that Germany is now having, I think I put it on my report, um, but the news has been... That's why I'm not doing the news right now, because there is no news. But um, Germany has decided to have, half, have their support going to Ukraine. They're going to cut it in half. So, look out. Look out. Because this is going to get worse and worse. And just to let you know... When you negotiate with Russia, it goes like this. Okay, let's negotiate. Russia will come out and tell you, look, we'll stop at the Polish border. We'll stop at the Polish border. Is that acceptable? And then um, the other side will say, no, it's not acceptable at all. We'll give you everything that you took, um, about half of what you've taken right now. And uh, that's it. And then the Russians will come out and they'll say, well, how about if we go, how about if we give you a couple hundred feet from the border of Poland? And of course they're not going to accept. The Russians have terrible negotiators. Their negotiations are based on what's theirs is theirs and what's yours is negotiable. So don't look for the Russians to do any kind of negotiating. That's not going to work. They'll give you a, exactly what I told you. They'll just take all of Ukraine. They'll start with that. It's like the it's like the Trump master of the game or art of the deal kind of thing, you know? Anyways, folks, I know I'm kind of uh, running on. We're going to keep this at uh, 29 minutes and 40 seconds. Look, you can, you can subscribe to this channel and I kind of want you to do it because as you think you're real smart and you remember this channel and then you go out and all of a sudden the things that I tell you are coming true, you'll come back. That's usually what will happen. And we don't get many because people don't want to accept their dim-wittedness because that's the way they've been trained. Take care, folks. Bye.